earnings season is picking up again this week, but not every company has a good earnings track record. I look through hundreds of these charts every earnings season, and I'm always surprised at the number that doesn't have a good track record. So I pulled out five of the best for this week. Now, these are the most spectacular charts, but that's on earnings and not necessarily the technicals of the chart. You'll see what I mean. Sometimes it does go hand in hand, but sometimes it doesn't. So let's see what are the best earnings charts. First one out the gate is Lamb Research. Now, this is the probably the best chart of the week because it hasn't missed it all in the five years and then even going back a little bit further than what this chart shows. But you can see the stock really broke down in 2018 because it's in the semiconductor industry and they all broke down. But it's got this great track record. This kind of goes to tell you that just because you're beating every quarter does not necessarily mean the stock is going to continue to uh, go up. But it'll be interesting to hear what they have to say this quarter because everybody's watching the semis. And then we're switching over to Chinese name, TAL Education. T-A-L is the ticker here. Just that one miss back in 2016. So I like this track record too. But similarly, the Chinese stocks were really out of favor in 2018. You can see that big sell-off there. Is this a buying opportunity? Maybe. Shares are up off those lows. But it's had a few really big beats in the last couple of quarters. That's that big green arrow is the size of the beat. So that hasn't really been the problem here. It's mainly been the negativity around the Chinese stocks and the Chinese economy, basically. Then let's switch over to Intuitive Surgical. Okay, now this one ha makes my list almost every quarter. Look at that chart. It hasn't missed since our data began in 2015, and it is off those lows. That might have been a buying opportunity there in late 2018 with everything getting thrown out, thrown out uh, everything all at once. Maybe this one is one you shouldn't have been, but it too has this great track record that Da Vinci system continues to be the big, huge driver here. And I'm going to be watching this one because it's, it's just one of the hot growth stocks. And then switching over to Starbucks. Now, I own this one in my own personal portfolio for the last couple of years. And as you can see, I've been waiting for it to do something. It only has that one miss back in 2015. So it has consistently either met or beat over all this time. But finally, in 2018, it did have a breakout. It shares, again, got sold off along with everything in the market. But will we see another test of that breakout high? Uh, we will see. And then switching over to our last stock here is a drug company. And this area has been out of favor for quite some time. But it's got the great track record. Just that one miss at the very edge of the chart, way over there in the left-hand corner. In 2014, if they beat again, that'll move off the scene. So then we'll have the clear five years of earnings beats. That's pretty impressive here. And, um, you know, shares again, a little rough in 2018. A lot of the drug makers were out of favor, but we'll see if another beat can turn that around. So as you can see, there's a lot going on with a lot of these charts. And yes, they've got the good earnings track record. That's what I like to see and look at. But there's other outside factors that might be influencing where the actual stock is going. But still, these are some of the big names you're going to want to tune into this week. And I'll be bringing you all the names all earnings season long. So be sure to tune in here at Zax.com and on our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single one of these videos.